Welcome back savages to another video. Well, it's finally here. It's taken two months, two and a half grand, 75 pound import fees, and here it is. Let's go ahead and open it. It is, of course, the Match X M2 Pro Miner. So in the box, let's have a look. They normally throw a few little freebies in there. So we've got mine like the Pro stickers, couple more match x logos in there as well uh what's this we've got the mxc coin seems fairly substantial um got this mxc moon shoot gun not really sure how that works but i'll have a play with that later on and then you get a run mxc fidget spinner with it as well Okay, so this is a nice little touch. They've chucked a few little freebies in there, which is nice. Let's see what's in the actual box itself. So here we go. This is what you get inside. Um, another sticker, as if there wasn't enough already. Uh, some instructions. So that's what you get. That's the Matchex itself. With the antennas that go on there. With the logo and everything. Little compartment here, which clips off once you unscrew these two screws here that's to one side you get a jubilee clip to connect to say if you've got a metal pole outside or something and you get a few little fittings there if you wanted to drill it into the wall that's fair enough um, power cable looks like that's the only power cable that they send with it i mean if you're spending that much money on a miner and they couldn't even be bothered to give you some multiple adapters with it pretty poor really so I'm going to have to get an adapter to convert that to a UK power supply. You get the three antennas with it. You don't get four with it. You have the other one's an optional one, which uh, I can get at a later time. So they'll just connect on there. And they've all got letters on them there as well. So you've got a G letter on there, which will go on the G point there. Uh, you've got an LO and you've got another LO as well, which should just match up with those ones. So that one's blocked off at the moment. So you'll be using the G on there, L l on that one you also power this via um, power over ethernet so that's the block you get with it so power over ethernet will go into that one that connects to your lan and then obviously you've got your power adapter for that uh what else have we got in here got some adhesive stickers in there and some clips for hanging fair enough and you get uh, a long ethernet cable with it as well i think there's another one in there as well yep so you get another one there so one's a bigger one and that's a smaller one that you get with it as well i mean if you look at the actual match x box considering i bought it from germany it's not very good high quality at all some of these edges don't actually match up correctly if you look on the back i mean if you look at the state of that that looks like it's been used if you look at the side of the box and see the reflection not a very good finish at all looks very cheap and plasticky not really impressed with the build quality of that when you think how much money it's cost but hopefully it's better in operation than its looks okay i managed to find um, a power adapter a clover leaf shaped one from one of my uh, laptops so i've just hooked it up to the mains connected straight through power over ethernet to the match x box Let's get an idea of uh, running costs, because that's something that a lot of people don't seem to cover in their videos. So let's uh, click to the meter. So at the moment it's um, using about 0 0.02 amps of power. It's got 2.3 watts it's using as well. So there you go guys, I just wanted to give you an honest review. I'm not sponsored in any way by MatchX. A lot of the videos out there are sponsored by them and you'll see referral links on there and everybody's singing their praises. Well, I'm not going to do that at this moment because I've not actually had a, an opportunity to try it yet. What I will tell you is, like I say, it's taken about two months for it to arrive. The communications are absolutely terrible. Um, didn't get any communication until it was actually shipped. Um, went on the forums. There was a couple of useful people on there helping out, which is always quite uh, good to know. Obviously, you got um, stung for import taxes, so that's something you need to bear in mind. Especially here in the UK, it's going to cost you about 72 to 75 pounds import fees uh, when it gets pulled. So anyway, hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, and I will bring you more videos on the MatchX once I've got it up and running and using the app. And 
I'll see you savages on the next one.